For ignoring the protein, the satiation, we can get ourselves into massive eating problems. There's ways around it, and one of them is to go with foods that are high in protein. Welcome to Price Plow. What's going on out there, all my vegan friends and Price Plow Nation? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow, a tech and media company where we save you money on nutrition products, and then we do supplement reviews, talk about diet research, and now do some food reviews because I have the latest and greatest newest flavors of Prote's vegan chips. Now, I will disclaim a bunch of things right, right off the bat. First off, these were sent for free, and we do have a small business relationship with Prote's uh, in that they, they ran some giveaways with us earlier with, the, uh, with this whole product launch because this is a whole new uh, rebranding and a whole new product launch. So we did do some stuff with them. Small business relationship, disclaimer, alert. So with that out of the way, the other disclaimer is that I am not a vegan. I am kind of more on the opposite side of things, but at the same time. But as a reviewer and as someone who follows a lot of the diet research, I understand. And the biggest thing to understand is that vegans need to, everyone actually, but vegans need to prioritize protein. The, big, the biggest issue is with a lot of these diets, when you remove animal products from your diet, is that you lack essential amino acids. And the best way to get them in for a vegan, you can do your best with foods. I do think that eating eggs and fish is probably the way to go personally. But anyway, if you need to stick vegan, you got to supplement a lot of things, and that includes protein. So protein chips have always had a pea protein base. Right now is March of 2019. And over the past year, pros have been kind of quiet. They did two things. One pertains to vegans. First off, they just re launched their light butter pro uh, popcorn flavor, but that is a whey protein isolate based, so that is dairy based. Uh, and they, they launched that in the protein popcorn. So that's not vegan, but they also did this rebrand, and that rebrand comes along with changing the way the chip works. What they did here is that they are now using whole ground corn instead of potato flakes and some other stuff. We have a whole blog post discussing this, but they're now using whole ground corn as the base of the chip. But the first ingredient is still pea protein isolate, and that's hugely important because what Prots is doing here is that they're, they're what's known as they're leveraging protein. What we have here in each bag, it's a 28 gram bag, one ounce, you know, typical snack size kind of thing. You have 120 calories. You have 15 grams of protein, as they say right here on the labels. Lots of pea protein, plus probably you know, minor amounts that come from the corn, minor amounts that might come from some other ingredients, but it's mostly gonna be pea protein isolate. Then you have eight grams of carbohydrate, two fiber, so you have six grams of active carb, and four grams of fat. This means that we have more protein than the combination of active carb and fat, which means this is good stuff. Reason being is because protein is the most satiating macronutrient, and your body, you know, your, people go crazy. Animals go crazy. And we'll have a whole different video on this. You can subscribe, but, but basically the human body goes crazy if it can't get enough essential amino acids in. And it, you go to a Mexican restaurant and you eat the chips and salsa, you can eat like a metric ton of that stuff and then eventually your body will finally get over the bliss point and it'll finally be like, okay, I've had enough protein. It's protein that our bodies are demanding. And we could override that a little bit. We'll talk about that. But anyway, here, we're taking care of it because we have the protein inside, but not too much of the other stuff. And that's why I'm so excited. Vegans need to know about this. So given that, which is the best flavor? Because I have spicy chili lime here, which I'm clearly kind of most excited about, but tangy Southern barbecue and zesty nacho. We will be showing some B-roll of all of these. Uh, and I will admit that these chips may be way more busted up than what you're gonna get in the local store. Protes is booming right now and they're at like Sprouts or all these different great stores and everything. So you can get your hands on them locally. I think Vitamin Shop's hooked up with them and everything. Don't quote me on that. So they're, they're in a lot of different places. However, two things happened. They shipped it to us and then my daughter, who's one year old, got into the box and she started bashing on stuff. So these chips are gonna be a little bit beat up, but that doesn't change the flavor review. You just might not see any huge chips in this one. Sorry to pros for that. Uh, on the other side of this box, there's also some crayon scribbles, so. <laughs> That's life of the dad, of trying to avoid the dad vibe by leveraging protein. So I have my uh, drink of water here that we're going to do, and I'm trying to stay with the most normal flavor first, and then we'll go to the crazy flavors so that we can refresh the palate. So I think I'm gonna start with Zesty Nacho. And this might be like the most best-selling one, I, I think, maybe. But to me, I'm still most excited about Chili Lime. Okay, these open easier than the, than the 
than the popcorn bags, which is good for everyone. Uh, I do. I, I have to give positive and negative feedback. I do think that Pros needs to put in a little divot here if they can. I don't know how the manufacturing works. Actually, hey, I do have some, I do have some full-size chips here. <laughs> she didn't get in everything. So what we have here is a zesty nacho based chip and the seasoning is going to be a vegan cheese powder with a tapioca maltodextrin, coconut oil, salt, a natto extract, which provides some of that Mexican zing and that color too, and uh, some other natural flavors. And we have uh, later on down the line, we have sea salt, nutritional yeast, tomato powder, onion powder, yeast extract, garlic powder, spices, lactic acid, all sorts of, all sorts of fun stuff to add to the flavor because we don't want it to taste completely like peas. Mm. So, mm. no doubt this is a vegan product. If you are one of our regular non-vegan carnivorous or omnivorous bros who watches this channel, honestly, I still would eat a bag of these, but they do have a little bit of that pea, pea protein taste to it. And you're not gonna get around that. The, the question is how much can we spice over it? And they do a really good job here, but uh, there's, like, there's like multiple waves in the flavor system here. And one of them leaves the pea a little bit exposed. Mm. Good flavor. Good flavor right off the bat. During the swallow, I get a little bit, and then the flavor's back. And that's, what, that, that's what's important to me. I wanna be left with the zesty natural flavor. If you're worried about zesty being too spicy, no, not at all. This is just going for that regular like cheese nacho flavor. So I, I'm a fan of this one. Still excited for the chili line. Up next, Tangy Southern Barbecue. Macros look the same. We got 15 grams of protein. This one has uh, paprika inside. Big fan of that. Garlic powder, Ooh, a little bit of molasses, a little bit of natural smoke flavor. We'll show B-roll with some of the, the labels. Another easy opener. Always appreciate it. Oh, I got full chips again. All right, so maybe disregard my disclaimer about my daughter bashing this stuff. She's not as good as she thinks she is. Okay, this one, you can see it. There is a definitely more flavoring on this here. I don't know if it's gonna focus on chip or whatever. Mmm. This one's good. It does taste sweeter. So, you know how those barbecue chips have sweetness to them? They, they nailed it here. This is really good. Now, from what I remember, I never ate like many, many bags of the chips. When we were, when we first met Crick, who's an awesome guy, who is the uh, co-founder, I believe, CEO of Protes. I met him at the Arnold Classic in 2017 as they launched the protein popcorn. And it, were, it was all about the popcorn that day, but I was you know, grabbing at the chips and everything. So I remember a little bit, but it was like all very you know, haphazard. I don't remember liking one this much though. This is, from what I can remember in my exactly a year ago, limited experience, this is an awesome improvement. There's not a single moment of pea protein. I'm getting more of a, just a good corn chip that thankfully has a bunch of protein in. This is gonna be tough to beat, especially if you got a little bit of sweet tooth. Now each bag, this has one gram of sugar. Ah, okay, I caught it. They both have eight grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber. This bad boy has a gram of sugar. This does not. Worth it? Yeah. Especially if you're vegan and you're not like on like some sort of crazy low carb diet. A little bit of sugar makes this thing really pop. I want to eat more of this, but we got to get this review going. Finally. Spicy chili lime. Smells normal like everything else. I don't, I don't get like a chili popping out in my face. Okay, this one looks very spiced too. Sugar, one gram. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this flavor is way more aggressive. Is it spicy? Yes, to me, not really, because I eat a lot of hot stuff, but this is definitely more on the spicy side. This flavor lasts and lasts and lasts, and it just dominates any of that pea protein. I still have this one. This one lingers for way longer. I think that this one, why, okay, here's where I'm starting to land. That was just one chip. Let me eat a second one. Mm -hmm. I do like the gram of sugar in there. It does have jalapeno pepper powder in there on top of some paprika, 
Paprika's on here twice. We got all sorts of good stuff here. Chili chipotle's in here. Yeah, there's a Zingo chipotle. Not very much, but enough that you can get it once you see the label at least. So this is fantastic. Oh man, it's gonna be tough to decide. I think you know which one you want. This is more of that sweet barbecue stuff. This is more of the chili line that you'd expect if you're big on give me some spice. I have it in the back of my throat right now. It's not too much. It is very enjoyable. Honestly, zesty nacho. I gotta go back to this. Like these, look at this. Well, you'll, you'll see the B-roll. Yeah, I guess there is some of that, that fake vegan cheese powder on there. Coming from the non-vegan background where I'm not used to those, those types of cheeses, types of quote unquote cheeses, this doesn't, this doesn't really like even come close to as good as these other two are. Maybe it's just that gram of sugar, which adds a little bit of like initial, uh, like a granular kind of taste on the tongue, but also it just adds a little bit of extra like push over the, over the pea protein wave. This one crisps a little better. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. It's not in the same league as these two. Maybe it's the gram of sugar or not. I think this is worth it. Long story short, I'm a huge fan of Prost because they are doing such great things, getting protein in the hands of people who need it. Snackers. There's a lot of people who get into these food addiction problems and when we get into the bliss point of carbs and fats together and we're ignoring all the, we're ignoring the protein, the satiation, we can get ourselves into massive eating problems. There's ways around it and one of them is to go with foods that are high in protein. Now, do you want to live off this? No, but macronutrient wise, I think you can get enough protein in. If you were to eat nothing but these, you can get enough protein in where you're going to be hopefully satiated without overdoing it on the calories. That's why I like the ratios that are in here. Now, I'm not recommending that, but I'm a huge fan of what, what pros put together here, especially with these two flavors. Well, I don't even have a whiff of pea protein in here, like nothing. It's just pure flavor. So they did an amazing job here and I for sure think both of these flavors are better than what I had when uh, I really quickly grabbed them at the Arnold. So congratulations to Prost. We need more people like Crick and we need more companies like Prost to do this. I, I, I'm not a vegan. Many of our followers here aren't vegans, but we could all take lessons from each other in supplementation and proper eating. And honestly, like at the end of the day, just prioritization of protein. And that's what Prost is doing. So thank you, Prost. Thanks for sending these for free. Sometimes, you know, we dieters, we're missing out on some crunch sometimes. And these add the crunch with the protein, which is exactly what you want. So thanks again, subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't watch it, and if you're not a vegan, go back and watch our video on the pro protein popcorn, where I get a little bit excited about the flavor of these things because they are so good. Pro's is awesome. We need pro's, listen, more food, more flavors, more food, do it, do it, do it. We just keep throwing this stuff out there because you're killing it. I know it's hard to build this and engineer this and make this, but we need this because a lot of people are not eating enough protein and this is how you can do it. I'm Mike Roberto. Thanks again for watching. I have a lot of fun eating on camera and I live the life right now. We'll see you later. Welcome to Price Plow.